Hey everybody, Ann here in the tiny house. It's kind of cold today. I can't believe it. I woke up and foraged for the bunnies and it was freezing. It was like 45 degrees inside the tiny house, so that means it was probably about 35 outside. Weird. Anyhow, I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. I woke up and my stomach was giving me problems. Um, I get acid reflux and I ate too late last night and then I laid down and yeah, it does stuff to you, so uh, no coffee for me this morning. Um, I'm tired, and I'm cranky, and, and uh, I don't have any energy, so I think today I'm just going to keep it simple. I think I'm going to go, uh, there's some wild stuff that's grown out there that I wanted to bring back up to the tiny house and put them somewhere. Um... And then kind of start dreaming about my garden, planting stuff. It's not quite time yet, but when my parents get down here at the end of this month, um, we're going to start planting, I think, then. So, anyhow, let me just finish my water and uh, get going. i got to do something today. Look at these sweet babies. They want to go out. They're like, let me out, Mommy. So I'll let you out. All right. Okay, come on out, babies. Be free. There's only six. Oh, one of the Easter eggers must be laying an egg. They just love being out. Yep, we got Mama in here laying me an egg. Miss Beauty has been hopping all over the place. She's up there laying me an egg. I'm going to get her some fresh water and some fresh feed. I've been looking for these. Uh, these are wild garlic and um, the cloves when they start out they kind of look like this. Um, I tasted one actually. I I pulled one of the smaller ones out and tasted it. It's delicious. So I'm going to bring this up by the tiny house and plant it somewhere. It'll spread. There's tons of other little tiny um, cloves down in here. That's a rock. And uh, so it'll multiply and spread. And uh, I would like to have a really nice crop of wild garlic going at some point. I've also been wanting to bring some dock up to the tiny house. And looks like I got most of the taproot. I think I kind of damaged it. There's another one right here. But I've got plenty of roots, so hopefully this will be okay. I've been going through kind of picking out stuff I don't want to be in there. If there's anything that looks like it had bugs on it or whatever. I found some leaves with some little eggs on them. And I just picked them out. And this has been a really good bunch, so, uh, yeah, that's something else. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can plant it up by the tiny house and get it to grow some more, because I love dock. I, I eat it quite a bit. And I got a couple things of plantain. I tried to get ones that didn't have a whole lot of other vegetation around them, just to see if I can get them to grow up by the tiny house. And I wanted some of this wild lettuce. Um couple nice specimens here so I don't know I think I think I may get one or two more things I got some wild violas and while I was out there I found a few more onions and Mr. Lucas brought this over for me he made it for me he found a stick out there in the wood he calls them his snake eye sticks um, he sanded it all down and it is a beautiful walking stick I'm going to stain this and I'm going to put something on the bottom of it so that it'll stay good. This is awesome. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. Look at here. He's going to mow my lawn. He's just going to do the front part so he doesn't have to look at it anymore. Right on. I'll have plenty, plenty, plenty of grass back there. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. What do you think? That's the general plan. I don't know. I mean, all this stuff was growing that close together anyhow. So, uh, Mr. Lucas is just about done mowing my lawn. I'm going to go over, hang out with him for a little while and think on this. And then come back and plant it. I think it looks pretty. I don't know if everything will survive, but maybe it will, maybe it won't. Yeah, that little grouping has a little bit too much grass. I'll trim it out. So, I don't know. So, there's wild violets or violas, whatever you want to call them. There's wild lettuce, plantain, and dock. And the garlic, whatever you call them. 
So I don't know. I think it I think it looks cool, don't you? Look it. I hope it grows. I hope everything bounces back. We'll see. One last little bucket for the bunnies. I love watching them eat. Aren't they sweet, you guys? They look delicious. Ha <laughs> ha. The day is coming to a close and I don't know if I'm tired or if I'm just really relaxed because, I mean, stress-free day. <laughs> I love it. I think I'm tired. Yeah, I'll probably go to bed early tonight and Papa's been great. He's, he hasn't been rushing out the gate anymore. He, he stays when I tell him to and um, I don't know if he may be a little depressed. Um, when I let him out for his romps, he, he gets to play with other doggies. So. There's at least that. Um, yes, definitely going to get them fixed as soon as possible. Um, but anyhow, it's just been a great day. You know, the chickens have been out free ranging. No drama there. Beauty is, she seems to be letting that leg down a little bit. So, I don't know. Maybe she'll be okay. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Um, anyhow, I've got nothing else for you guys today. I hope you had a beautiful day. I know I sure did. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.